Hi, welcome in my Holo laptop. Well, this is my Holo laptop and it's running Windows 10 at this moment. And uh, we're gonna do a downgrade. And not because uh, Windows 10 is not running too good. We're just gonna do a downgrade to show you how to downgrade and do a new install. We're gonna downgrade to Windows 7. So what we're gonna do, we have here a running system, running Windows 10. Okay, so let me show that to you because some of you might be, uh, is it really Windows 10? Yes, even though it has the classic start screen, I just cannot get used to the um, to the Windows 10 start screen on older machines like this. And uh, here you probably can't, well you can see it a little bit in mirror. This is, the, this is Windows 10, you see that? And in fact, this is active. It's activated for lifetime. This machine, and uh, so I can safely downgrade and you know um, go back to Windows 7, do a clean install. But how to do it and keep all my files? So in fact, it's really easy. Uh, we can just simply boot up. We can also go to settings, and then Windows 7 will be restored to. Um, the way it was before you upgraded so you know you can also do that if you want we can also but we already did a downgrade like that so um, I just want to do a clean brand new clean install of the Windows 7 that goes along with this machine and then build it up from from scratch in fact that's what I want to do in fact I don't have to do it but you know I'm just a little bit bored so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna boot from the machine we're just gonna kill the beats like that boom and we say goodbye to Microsoft Windows 10 bye bye and we're gonna hit F12 or so and we're gonna boot from CD-ROM there we go I think this is the first installer you ever saw in a holographic screen booting Windows 7 you can't see anything yet or oh, press any key to boot no 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 I forgot to press any key to boot so I think F11 F12 there we go we boot from CD-ROM And I upgraded the laptop. We first did this on the Dell Inspiron 6000. We are now on the Latitude 830. Now come on, boot baby. There we go. You will soon see something on the screen. It's loading files. Can you see that? <laughs> you probably can't see it. That it's oh, sorry for that. That it's loading files. There it is. You see that there? Loading files. <clears throat> okay, we're almost there with loading the files. And this is the first holographic install of Windows. ever created eh? so remember that what you like what you're looking at it's never done before <laughs> look at that wow we're installing Windows 7 in a holographic environment <laughs> crazy This is crazy stuff, my friend. I'm walking through the installer. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, but let's stay serious because we must make some decisions here. And I'm just looking if I can make it even better for you. Aha! Uh -huh. So I must bend my cable. One second there. Bending my cable for your viewers. You see? <laughs> now you can see what's cracker lacking, yo. So, okay. Uh, what we're gonna hit here is of course uh, English United States uh, the time cur uh, uh, currency is Dutch uh, let me see where it is Dutch say they Danish Dutch Netherlands United States keyboard and then we're gonna say install now okay setup is starting And there's one more guy that also got this same idea and he also called it holographic but he didn't mention that it was mono holographic I made I made a little comment on his uh, on his side but he made it for iPhones huh? of course this uh, principle you can use on any device that has a screen if you just put it in the right angle of course the bigger the screen the better it will look I'm not here to look at little dolls dancing in the screen. I'm here to, you know, watch real videos. Except next. And here we're gonna hit custom advanced peeps. Yeah. Okay. We see 41 gigabyte hard drive. And we see 107 gigabyte hard drive. So what to do now well in fact that 41.3 gigabyte huh, I really don't know what it is so let's take a look if we hit next here if it, what it will say the partition you selected contain files from previous Windows installation if it does these files and things will be blah 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 to there blah 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 okay so what is this what is this 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 partition here this 40 gigabytes let's see can we hit next yes we can hit next okay but that was not what i wanted yes i want to not do that so we're going back to the installer i just wanted to see what 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 was up with that 40 gigabyte uh, drive so now we're just gonna hit install again and now we know that we need the one containing the windows files because that one will let us um, install windows 7 and the files will be placed in a folder called old windows so we just hit next and we hit ok here so we're gonna let this go and at the next step I will get back to you what we are in fact doing now, in fact we are uh, now uh, copying all the files, all the files of the hard drive, the ones containing Windows, Windows 10 in this case, it will copy them all to a folder called Old Windows and that folder we will clean up after we picked out all our files that we want to keep in our new installation of Windows 7. Okay, there we are, the big reboot. At the reboot you will see a Windows 7 and a Windows 10 uh, startup uh, possibility. We go for Windows 7 and we're gonna continue the installation. Also setting up a barbecue here, so uh, we're just gonna let this load as you can see look at the orb all oh, beautiful huh? this holo screen is so fantastic i will let you look a little at it a little bit i'll be right there
Okay, what do we see here? Uh, clusters are being repaired. You must let this go. This is very important. Okay? You must not skip this. Let this go. So, uh, I'll get back uh, to you if it's at 18,000 cost 94. We still have a little to go. Most important of this scan, you know, will be that there are zero bad files records and zero KB in bad sectors, that there are no bad sectors. That is really important as well. So it's only at 52% peeps. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee and I'll be back in the Star like this will take kind of longer because it must copy a lot of things and you know so you must have patience it's almost there it's completing the installation and after this we will get a reboot that will bring us straight to Windows 7 There we are, and after this beautiful intro of the Dell booting up for the final time, uh, I mean, this is its uh, final uh, boot up, and uh, we're gonna say hello to Windows. There we go, in. No password. I will do that later. 
Ask me later. We are in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. That's correct. Um, we will do this later. Skip. So there we are, Windows 7 Ultimate is booting up. And as soon as I'm connected, we will also activate Windows. And the most important thing now, what we should do, is after the desktop is loaded, we will go to our C drive and up there we will look for a folder called old windows. Okay, and uh, this old folder or this folder called old windows, it contains all the files of your accounts that you had on this machine, meaning that um, we will be able to get our our files back and you can see we are in the desktop windows is booted up my people and we welcome back windows the term our lovely voice sounds there let's put some desktops on the icon uh, I mean <laughs> let's put some icons on the desktop some, some desktop on the icons <laughs> what was wrong with you fuck okay there we have the icons on the desktop and of course I must stand otherwise I don't see it too good let me look in the properties in the device manager if everything is set yay data interface I don't know what that is we will look for that later data interface uh, we go to my computer and we go to the C drive and up here we will see Windows old and Windows old 2 we have two Windows old here and uh, I'm gonna make the icons a little bigger for you guys here like this Oh, did I just close it? What is wrong with you, my friend? So, there you go. Uh, here you will find two windows old, because one is of the of the Windows 10, I think, and the other one is of Windows 7. So, let's go to the first one. Windows old, and here we see only windows. You see? Download nothing. So, we need the second windows old this one here this will contain all our files users you see that users studio that's me and then uh, we go to desktop sys because komodo internet security we go to downloads here we see some downloads we select them all and just put them in the folder downloads of this account of this new windows we go to my documents we select everything in my documents and just move it to my documents my music uh, it, 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 it file I don't know what kind of music that is it's not music that I'm gonna listen to my pictures here we just hit control A select everything just move them to my pictures just as simple like that you see that and then we hit one back and then we go to my videos and here we have one video we just copy to my videos and then one drive i never use that searches 
here I have some files that I want to put in desktop like that so in fact now we cleaned our windows yeah so everything in that old windows there we don't need anymore and we also want to get rid of that space that is holding so we're gonna go to my computer and then to properties all the way down and then we hit this cleanup but that will not be it because after this scan we're gonna hit scan for system files I showed it in a previous video uh, before but of course I must uh, I must do it again and show it again if I want to show it correctly in this video because that will let you clear all the space that uh, the old windows are using on your uh, on your hard drive so when this is done with scanning I'll get back to you and then we're gonna do a system scan okay here we are as you can see in this window that pops open you, sh you don't have to select anything because there's not too much to select just go here and hit clean up system files so now it's gonna do one more scan and uh, it's gonna it's gonna scan now and when this is done I'm gonna get back to you this process might take a while because it will do a deep scan and uh, here you see we are where we must be and you cannot read it too good but I will show you here this is a Windows previous installation 21 gigabyte we're gonna select that one we go down we see here some files 5 megabyte setup log files 27 KB system acquired windows error report etc we select so we selected everything here and we see that the windows backup files are not available we only have previous windows so we're gonna hit ok and we're gonna clean about 22 gigabytes of hard disk space so now we just cleaned our machine and we are back to a fresh windows 7 ultimate i just also inserted my serial number my key so i will have to activate in a second when i connect to the internet well peeps that was it as you can see my screen is uh, updated thanks to the lighter display of the dell 830 we could even uh, turn on the light i'm sitting in the light now and you can still see the screen that is something really fantastic uh, so we don't have to sit in the dark anymore to look at the holo screen but of course it was not about the holo screen it was about the installation but this of course was also the first installation i think worldwide ever uh, on holo in a holo environment using that word again and uh, I think it was fantastic to do it so we are back on Windows 7 we got all our files back to the places where they should be only thing of course that we need to do now is install uh, all the software that we want to install again and uh, we will have enough space after clearing this 22 gigabytes so that will be just fine yo peeps if you think that this video was fantastic then of course you must like if you uh, think it, the information was genuine etc you must just give it a little thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel you know because I'm making all sorts of videos and one crazier than the other so check them out uh, I'm full uh, yeah with this screen that I <laughs> yeah found out by accident by failing the pyramid uh, holo thing i failed making one but in the in the failing i saw something and learned something there and that's how i created and came on the idea to to do this to create a, a holo screen for uh, for any of my laptops that i can lay flat and i can confirm that uh, dell laptops uh, they can be laid flat at least the d830 I can lay it flat and uh, 
the Dell D6000, what was it? Uh, the Inspiron 6000 can also be laid flat. So I think it's a Dell thing. Maybe Dell was prepared on the future of hologram screen displays on their machines. I don't know. But peeps, thanks for watching. Once again, till my next video, like, subscribe.